Hi Grade Tens, today we're going to do page 101 where we will be calculating the area and the perimeter of a given house plan. So we have 1 up to 3 and the same method you can use it for the previous page which is page 100. So for the area we're going to ensure that we calculate using the formula for area which is length times breadth. So first things first, we can see that this plan that we are given here in number one, we need to ensure that we will be able to get all of the area for that. So what I'm going to do is then I will divide my floor plan into about three rectangles. So I'm just going to extend this this one here like that and then extend this other one as well like that. Now I have a, B, and C. Now let's figure out the dimensions for each. We can see that for A, we have this 10,000 and 8,000, which is the length times breadth. And then for, for B, we have this 3,000 here for this side. And then for the breadth, we can take it from this total here and then meaning that we will have 2000 here because 13 minus um, 11 would give us 2000 millimeters so meaning that we will have 3000 by 2000 and then for the last one which is C we have this 6000 here by the 3. But before you calculate the area, you must ensure that you convert all your dimensions to millimeters. So here we will divide by 1000, get 10, get 3, 6, 8, 3, and then 2, 8, 3, 8. We are converting them all to meters. So we are dividing by a thousand. Hence you see now that all of my dimensions have changed. So as I've mentioned, we're going to say area is equals to length times breadth. That is the formula for area as we know it. And then from there, we're going to start with the one for the big rectangle, which is 10 multiplied by 8 and then add it with B which is then 3 3 multiplied by 2 the 3 is here remember that 3 multiplied by 2 and then lastly we have 6 multiplied by 3 so 6 multiplied by 3 and in total, we would get, let's see, we would get, for this one, we would get 80 plus 3 times 2, 6, 6 multiplied by 2, by 3 is 80, and then add the 3, then you would get 80 plus 6 plus 18, giving you 104. Because it's area, we would say meter squared. So this is how you would calculate the area for the first one. Then moving on to the second one. Um, the second one, just need my ruler so that I can divide my 
my thing. Divide my my floor plan like that. So you always want to divide it where there's already dimensions that are easy. So let us convert the dimensions. Divide by 1,5,7,3,6,5,8,7,6 and 6. And we would have A, B, C and D. Let me just zoom in for you. So we are looking at the second one. Keep that in mind. So for the second one, for the first one, you can see that it's 6,000, which is 6 by 5. So length times breadth, area is length times breadth. Just indicate that there. And then 6 multiplied by 5. And then let's go to B. So in order for to find B, we already know that the length is 7. Oops. I saw that one coming. So 7 multiplied. So now we need to know the, the length of our rectangle here. The rectangle that we have here, we need the length for it. Um, so when I look at, um, I must have, I went a little bit too low. I was supposed to go here. Yes, no. Remember, you need to be able to ensure that you divide it in a way that it's easy for you to get dimensions. You have the total length here of 12. 6 plus 6 gives you 12 and then from that 12 you can see here we have 5 we have 6 giving us 5 plus 6 gives us 11 so focusing solely on this 6 here you can see that we have a piece here that is gone and a piece here that is gone so, in order to make up this 12, it means that this piece here will be 0, 0,5 and then this one as well would be 0, 0,5. Then it would make this one 5. So, we would have 7 by 5. Then we move on to C. For C, we already have the length of 6. But then, what is our breadth? In order to find our breadth, we need to be able to find out what is this distance from here to here because we can see that the overall distance from here to here is 8. So taking that 8 and removing this part which is 3, so you can see from the top there, which is 3, we get a total of 5. So meaning from here to here is 5. 5, 6, so it's going to say 6 multiplied by 5, and then for the last part, the last 5, we have the 5 by 3, that 3, it's the same as 3 here, so we will get 5 by 3. Now, to add, to get the, our totals, take 6 multiplied by 5, get 30 plus 7 multiplied by 5 plus 35 6 multiplied by 5 once again you get 30 and then you get 5 multiplied by 315 so 30 plus 35 plus 30 plus 15 will give you 110 meter Square it. So this is how you get the area for this second block plan. 
and then lastly let us look at the last one that we have given there um, so our floor plan 3 looks something like that and we will have to figure out first how we are going to divide it into rectangles so looking at this I'm just going to ensure that I'm going to have a rectangle here so I'm going to have a rectangle here that one first and then I might just also do this one here and then also here at the bottom so we we'll have A, B, C and D. So those are my four rectangles. Now let us convert, divide by a thousand, three, four, 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 six, seven. Now, now that we have our dimensions, can just write here for the A we have this length here a length of 11 and then what is our breadth so we need to find our breadth our breadth we can find by minusing these two this total which is 13 7 plus 6 gives you 13, 13 there at the top, so the whole total there at the top, 13 plus 3 gives you 16. So 16 minus 13 will give you this piece here, which will then be 3. So it will be 11 multiplied by 3 for this A here. And then for B, we have our B here. Now we need to figure out how long, how much this bit is in order to find how long that whole line is. To do that, you look at this. So what is the total of these? 4, 8, 12. So it's a total of 12. And we already know that from here to here is 11, making this part a 1, which will be a 1,000. So then... We would know that this whole part is 12. So it's 12 by 7. So our rectangle B will be 12 by 7. It's that 11 plus this 1 giving you 12. And then the 7 is already given. Now moving on to C. C, we can see that we already have the 4 here. Now we need to know. How long is this little bit there? And to do that, we look at that 6. We can see that from here to here is 6. But then that distance there, it's already given to be 3,000, making this piece here also 3. So 3 plus 3 gives you that 6, meaning that we would have 4 multiplied by 3 for C, 4 multiplied by 3. And then for the last one, which is D, we have the length of 6, 6 by 4. That one is already given, 6 by 4. Now that we have our dimensions, let us calculate the area. So we know that area length times breadth and then we have 11 multiplied by 3 plus 12 multiplied by 7 plus 4 multiplied by 3 sorry and then 6 multiplied by 4 now let us get our mini totals so we have 11 multiplied by 3, 33, 
plus 12 times 7, 84, 4 multiplied by 3, 12, 6 multiplied by 4, 24, and then you add these together, then you get 153 meters squared. So this is how you would do your area. So please ensure that when you calculate area, you always have about three steps or four in total. One way you would write the formula and then you would start by multiplying the first line and then the second line will be for addition and then the fourth line will be your total answer in meters squared. This is how you would do the area for this page 101 but this knowledge can obviously be used and applied in every floor plan that you are given. The next video will be a continuation of this where we will be doing or we will be calculating the perimeter of these floor plans. Thank you for watching. And